Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel, uh, Jose's Bookshelf. My name is Jose. Um, I am going to talk today about Merciless, uh, so hang tight. And so today I'm just going to talk about uh, Merciless. So these ones, because uh, the fourth one is coming out uh, June, I think it's June 8th, I did pre-order it. So these, this series is, uh, it is from Daniel Vega, uh, that's her pen name. So uh, Daniel Rowland. So it's Daniel Rowland that uh, is the author of these books. Um, she did, uh, she does have other books too uh, that I have read, but I just want to talk about the Merciless series for now. Uh, so for this one, Merciless, it's about a girl. Uh, she's in a new school. She meets new friends and um, it's always weird things happening around her. And then it's, in, it's really like, it's creepy and they do an exorcism on a girl uh, on, on one of their the friends that they say that uh, is there with them and they do an exorcism on them and it's really gruesome if you if you don't like blood don't don't even try it um, and so yeah this book here I read it when it came out uh, this is the books that started me that made me start reading um, so this one here is you start it's, um, it's, it should have been the second book but what they did is they did this book then the sequel and then they did a prequel um, so this is what happened to the girl that they did the exorcism for and why she needed an exorcism well not really needed but the girls apparently think that she does um, so it's very exciting um, I love this one like on the back it says forgive us father for we have sinned so you know it's gonna be bad like i had a few quotes that i i did do a review on my blog before i started youtube and this one here says i try to breathe but it's as if someone hands are wrapped around my lungs squeezing them so and then i have another quote here it says afraid what your friends will think when you really admit your sins so it's, it is really good. Um, I, I can't go in depth of what happens because it wouldn't be... Uh, I want it to be a spoiler-free review for you guys. Uh, I am going to go in the other books, uh, but I, I just want you guys to know as soon as I go in the other books, um, it is going to be spoilers. So if you have not read this, don't listen to the second part. So for the spoilers... Spoiler review. Uh, so in Merciless One, uh, these, she starts being friends with clicks, uh, two or three friends together, and then for some reason, uh, one girl puts a fork in her eye by accident. Sorry, that's disgusting. <laughs> So uh, in this book here, she goes into a house to help them, but she starts feeling bad for the girl um, that is being punished and doing the exorcism on. Um, it's very creepy. And at the end, it's like one of the person that was like the girl that was not good um, ends up escaping. So, so in the second one, uh, the girl escapes. Her mom pass. Her mom passes away, unfortunately. Uh, so for this one, um, she has to go to a boarding school uh, with just girls and she started imagining things for herself. Um, she goes into that school. This one, is, it, the story is long before it gets really interesting. At the end, you, excuse my French, but you feel mind fucked. It's, uh, at the end, I was, I was just like, okay, I need the, the sequel and um it's really 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 good so this is the exorcism of sophia flores and um the writing style it keeps you on your toes like you, you want to be intrigued of what's going to happen so merciless three is what happened to the girl that she became pretty much psycho um, so it's her story and you find out about the boy and they go at the camp that's in the first book um, and this one here like I read this in like a few days it 
it just intrigues me a lot. So I'll give you some quotes from this one. This one's freaking creepy. A rag and hail interrupts me. I stop talking. That doesn't sound like Deidre. I press my lip together, my heart thudding in my chest. It's a real caller, my first real caller. So she works in a call center uh, to help people out uh, just to talk. It's like a kid's help phone line. Um, and she hears something from that line. And then the other quote is, Pastor Joe, let's let go of my arms. I wait until he steps away from my body. And then I roll onto my side groaning. Don't make me tie you up again, he says from above me. So what happened is because she has a weird thing going on around her in the third book, um, she, the pastor is uh, the boy, her, she's friend with his son. And the pastor thinks she's crazy. And ex so he tried to do an exorcism on her. He puts her in a closet full of knives and um so she's very scary she can't she can't even move because the knives are going to kill her um so he thinks that that but apparently that's what she keeps do that's what the pastor keeps doing to his son so that's that's how she figured it out by accident so um i won't tell you what happens right at the end but just imagine how it's just so good it's literally like mean girls meet the exorcism it's that's what it is and the fourth one's coming out and we're gonna know like what happened at, from the second book uh what happened at the end um but she turns out to go in a mental hospital so this book here um i can't wait to get it and if i were you i would get it um this series made me start reading full time and i do not regret it so so anyways uh, it's really really good and uh like I would say, keep reading and don't forget to subscribe. And I do put post videos every Monday and Thursdays. Monday is always a reading vlog uh, from my whole week before. And the Thursday is just a random video. So um, hope you like it and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.